Uh, checking for SSL may, forms a major part in any infrastructure or web application assessment and also it's not done in depth in most of the assessments mainly because you need to run like multiple tools and also you need to do like various manual checks to do a very thorough review of an SSL service. This talk is about a tool that I have written to automate majority of the services so or majority of the checks uh, which uh, mainly integrates a lot of other tools and also it does like a lot of manual checks. Okay, uh, let's talk about like PAN's Premier Toolkit uh, because SSL is, SSL Auditor is part of PAN's Premier Toolkit. Uh, what's PAN's Premier? PAN's Premier means like life exists everywhere across the universe and it is transferred from one planet to other planet or one uh, entity to other entity like moons or uh, asteroids or comets through other entities like comets or asteroids. Uh, and how is this related to this talk is where uh, we, when we talk about like IT there are like multiple worlds uh, which, which are like uh, for example uh, networking is a different world whereas like database is a different world and uh, you have something like virtualization and then you have like operating systems, you have application. So all these are like different, different worlds. And uh, this Pans Permit Toolkit has uh, like, I'm still like developing it, okay, has like a tool to ta tackle the issues in each of these worlds. And all these pictures are uh, like various planets that might have life in them. So we don't know, they're all few light years away, so we are not that advanced to even like, detect life, 100%. Uh, let's uh, go ahead with SSL Auditor, which is also called like Opabinia. Okay, why Opabinia? Why, what's the meaning of the name? Opabinia is one of the buggish scale creatures that lived around 500 million years ago, and it has five eyes, uh, mainly to escape from danger. Uh, there, there used to be a, a big predator called uh, Anomalicaris. It needs to escape from Anomalicaris to survive and also it can find food much easier with like five eyes. And the other thing that Opabinia has is a long proboscis which it can use to fetch like foods which are difficult to reach. How is this related to my talk? Um, my tool has like five modules to check for various issues on the services, so which relate to the five eyes of Obavenia. And the input module is f very flexible to accept input from multiple sources, so which relates to the long proboscis. Let's have an overview. Uh, okay. This is uh, a complete picture of my tool, like the checks it does and the various options it has. Uh, at present it does around 30 checks on SSL and RDP services. Let's uh, go into each of these components. Okay, the first component is the input modules and the execution modules. Uh, my tool accepts like four uh, different sources of input. One is is from on the interface itself, so you can add your IP or host on the interface and it accepts that. The second option uh, is a range, which you can see on the top. It, it accepts like a start IP and then you can specify the end IP and it generates the entire list for you. Uh, the third option is the uh, IP list file. There are the multiple ways it will read those IPs. You can separate an IP or host name and the port using colon or space or comma. So it accepts CSV files. And the other option is it does sanitization, so you don't need to have like a very strict, okay, this particular form of like URL or it does like, it will just uh, remove HTTP and all those kind of prefixes and suffixes. And the fourth option is an NMAP XML file, which accepts like multiple ports you can just specify okay uh, grab all the IPs or hosts with uh, this specific port open and now 
let's come to the execution options. There are a few options which are quite important. The first one is a development environment, uh, which since like sometimes uh, you might be testing SSL services in a development environment, and you don't want to flag like okay self signed certificates or uh, untrusted certificates. So this option ignores uh, four of the checks, which is like revocation lists, uh, self signed wildcard certificate, and trusted certificates. So th and the the other option in the tool is automated timers. So when the tool identifies a timeout or an error, uh, it increases time to two x. And then if it still gets the same error or timeout, it pushes it to 5x before it moves to the, uh, it, before it moves to the next module. And we'll be looking at autosave options in uh, the further slides. And yeah, with respect to the scan speed, there is an option to increase or decrease the scan speed. It's mainly useful when you are uh, running the tool against a local ser service or a remote service, mainly like if it is like going through the internet, uh, probably it might be like slow, so you don't want the tool to time out like very fast, so you can just uh, reduce the time. Let's now look at uh, the various cipher checks that the tool does. Like uh, the tool. Uh, checks for the various like protocols that are supported by the SSL service and also it does check for the various ciphers that are supported by each of those uh, protocols and then it lists the preferred ciphers for each of the protocols so, and it flags if it finds SSL uh, version 2 or any of the weak uh, ciphers enabled and uh, this is a sample report and uh, these are the, the various fields in the report now let's look at uh, certificate checks. Yeah, these are like uh, some of the certificate checks he, the tool does for you. So uh, mainly it, it does uh, check for various issues on the certificate itself, as well as it, it checks for various issues on the configuration of the SSL service. Uh, the, the some of them can be like the self-signed validity or wildcard certificates or weak crypto stuff like weak uh, RSA keys or weak signing algorithms and uh, the various uh, things related to configuration include like uh, beast attack or compression which leads to crime and uh, session uh, resumption and security negotiation. Now let's look at web service. Why did I include like web service checks in an SSL tool. Uh, it's quite important because uh, if you look at the modern web servers, they support a lot of additional features, uh, say for example like HFTS header, which greatly improves uh, the security of an SSL survey. So it's very important to have these headers in place to have a, a very strong SSL. Uh, so this module checks for various headers uh, on the SSL service. It also checks for uh, like various tools like cookie flags and cache settings, but these are on the index page. It, it, it's not a web app scanner, so it cannot go inside the web pages. So, and it also checks for various disclosure through uh, web server headers. Now, let's look at the other module, which is uh, RDP service. Yes. Uh, RDP service. Uh, Oh, supports like three protocols. So this module uh, checks for the support of like each of these protocols. One is like Red SSP, SSL, and native RDP. And if SSL is enabled, it will check for self-signed certificates and weak ciphers. If native RDP is enabled, it will check for uh, the security level as well as like the cipher supported by the by the service. And yeah, this, this uh, various. Uh, this is another module which checks for uh, the mainly the validity of the certificate, and it gives like a different coloring for if it is like expiring or expired. It's mainly focused towards administrators, and this is like uh, the report structure, which is like uh, it does like two reports. One is like validity and the audit report. Audit report is a general one which gives like more detailed information about 
the SSL service and the validity report is just like a table which gives like which is expired or expiring or it's fine and yeah uh, maybe I think like we are running out of time so let's skip the demo yeah. and I'm like very thankful to uh, Dave and also to my friends uh, for helping me out with the feedback with respect to the tool and the presentation and yeah, the tool can be downloaded from my website and also the presentation is available on my website and the demos are available on YouTube and